What's up guys? How's it going? JC on the strong movie review time. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. I was picked to my back for my shoelaces. Got out, should have seen the look on they faces. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Set up by the crew, they done put a banger in the trunk of my car and left me to hang there. No thing, then attorney went and beat the case. Got a job digging holes for minimum wage. Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me. Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know I. Went back to selling, six time failing. I went back to prison, got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right, I got a mission. Trying to get back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone, I ain't never gonna miss them. From wrong to strong, stay true to the vision. From wrong to, to strong, from wrong to strong, from wrong to, to strong, from wrong to strong. Hey guys, what's up? If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss nothing. Drop a comment, tell me what you think. And if you are part of my Ron Strong family, what's up? Rasa Subar Sela Suburban. Let's get this going. Let's go ram somebody. You know how we be. You like the new uh, backdrop? Ron Strong? Yeah. Did some uh, fixing up around the house. So now we got a little studio to record in. But today we're gonna do a movie review. You know how I like doing those. My last one was Blow. Today is gonna be The Mule with Clean Eastwood. My biggest thing, man, is why do they always hire Mexicans that don't speak Spanish? Like Mexican Spanish. They hire Latino actors as Mexican actors, and you know damn well, we do not speak the same. We don't say que bola, we don't say coño, we don't say none of those things. We do not. This is the thing is that a lot of people don't realize is that they think Spanish is Spanish. They think that Mexico, Mexicans speak, uh, you know, the same Spanish as Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, uh, people from South America, from Honduras, no. Everybody speaks a different kind of Spanish. There's different slang words or different, just different terms. Like in Puerto Rican, um, pato means being gay. You, a Mexican won't, won't use that. A Mexican uh, uses different terms. So that, that's what I mean. Spanish is not just Spanish, man. So please, hire actors that are going to play the part of these cartel members to the T. Please call me. All right, on this movie, yes, the cartel does pay normal, clean looking people to drive. This guy is real. This is based on a true story. And he was getting paid top dollar to deliver bricks of cocaine. He, you make anywhere from 7,000 to 20 grand unless you're making a big load like he was making at the end of the movie where he was transporting 300 keys. You usually make about a thousand off of each key, if not a thousand five hundred if your boss feels like giving you a little extra. And it's always pretty much from Texas up to Chicago, New York, Miami, California. It's always from the border out to the outskirts or from Chicago down to the other parts, depending on how the loads and when they get there. And everybody says that just this one time. Trust me, it's never just one time. In the movie, he said that just one time. And what happened? He bought himself a truck. He started spending money, paid for this, paid for that, paid for that dance, paid for the, the bar. That's how it happens. One time turns into seven, to eight, to nine, to 10. Because when you see that big amount of money, 
it turns into greed and then you want more. The dog is barking. The highway patrol lets him out to use the bathroom and the dog runs up to the car. He grabs muscle rope, puts it on his hand, and then rubs the dog. Actually, that is a tactic that works. A lot of people use that on their locker in prison when we're having shakedowns when we know that the dogs are coming. Uh, what it does is just the smell so overpowering to the dog's nose that it just throws them off like crazy. So it kind of messes up their day. But yeah, that does work. There's, there, in this movie, there's so many parts that are they're to the T, pretty much. Even when the boss gets murdered, because I mean, if you if you look at it, how many people want to take your spot? Like, how many people want your your what you have? And it's and it's happening all over Mexico. I mean, this is why it, it's so out of control right now because everybody wants to be a boss. Everybody wants to be the leader. So they're gunning for those positions. And when I say that this movie is to the T, is that there's scene after scene where it's to the T. Like when uh, they're looking for the back, the black truck, right? And they see a Mexican driving, <laughs> and they pull him over because he's Mexican, <laughs> and the dude doesn't even speak Spanish. <laughs> and the dude's trying to talk to him in Spanish. And he's like, "I don't speak Spanish, dude." <laughs> that was one of the funniest parts in that movie, but it's true. It's true. And, and you know, it all comes down at the end, man. You sooner or later, you get caught. You end up in prison. And it's, it's crazy because at the time, I guess you really don't think about it because you're so, you're so involved in the money and thinking about what you could buy and what you could do that you don't even think about the consequences until it's too late. I did it. I said one trip, one trip I'll get on my feet. One trip turned into two, two trips turned into three, three turned into four, four turned into five, five turned into six, and there you go. And then I just started, you know, working and working more. Greed has a funny way of tickling your funny bone and it tickles everybody's funny bone because greed is greed it's one of the they say money is the ruler of all evil and i believe that it's true so on this movie i give them two thumbs up because it was to the t on everything to the t the way he ran the way he spent the way he got caught the way the cartel was, you know, he turned into the cartel's famous, famous uh, favorite runner because he was making everything on time and everything was delivered. Two thumbs up on this movie. It's a really good movie. I suggest you guys check it out. Uh, I leave you with one thing. At the end of the movie, he's doing what he loves to do, right? Plant flowers, uh, garden. He's in federal prison. But one thing you can't buy, man, is time. You can never buy time. You can buy everything else, even an education, but you can never buy time. My name's JC. I am Ron Strong. These are my shenanigans. This is what I do. You know, I share my story. I share everything so you guys can see my past, my present, and where I'm about to go. Don't judge nobody, stay in your lane, give somebody a hug, live savage, and remember you only have one life to live, but if you live it right, one life is all you need. I'll catch you guys on the rebound.